Hi, I'm Josh with Digital Tutors, an Autodesk authorized publisher. This in-depth tutorial is designed to help you get a solid understanding of the core features found in 3ds Max and help you to ease your transition into this very powerful program. So during the course of these lessons, you'll have a chance to learn about different aspects of 3ds Max from several of our tutors here at DT. Digital Tutors is the world's largest resource for Autodesk training and over the years we've had the honor and the privilege of teaching some of the top artists and studios all around the world. And for the next several hours we'll be giving you the most structured, well-rounded, and easiest to follow 3ds Max training that you'll be able to find anywhere. In the first portion of this tutorial, we'll be getting you familiar with some of the vocabulary and foundational skills that you'll need in order to begin moving around and working in 3ds Max. From there, we'll move into exploring some of the modeling features found in 3ds Max, and we'll begin building the aircraft that is our central project for the remainder of this course. From there, we'll take you through the entire process of adding textures and materials to the vehicle, adding animated movement and animation controls, adding dynamics, and finally we'll learn how to add lights, shadows, and output our final animated sequence. Now this course is designed for new 3ds Max users, so our goal is not to weigh you down with a lot of technical information. Instead, we want you to form some really good work habits and workflows, getting to see the entire start to finish pipeline for this project, and by the end of this tutorial, we want you to be at a point where you can feel comfortable using 3ds Max. So in our next lesson, we'll get things started by breaking down the 3ds Max interface. 